Ladies, gentlemen, colleagues and friends, welcome to this year's A Time to Remember. I'm Jonathan Lofthouse, the Site Chief Executive for the Princess Royal University Hospital and Associated South Sites of King's College Hospital NHS Foundation Trust. We will be streaming today's children and baby memorial service from our chapel at the Princess Royal University Hospital. Sadly, we're not able to gather together at All Saints Church in Orpington as we usually do at this time of the year. But we hope you'll find affirmation and comfort in remembering as we share in a service which has many familiar elements with some necessary adjustments due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Thank, uh, thank you to our staff who are involved in this service on the hospital site, and thank you to everybody joining us live as we come together in this different way this year. I'll now hand over to Tim in our chaplaincy team live within the Prue Hospital Chapel. Thank you. Welcome to this year's service. We hope you can join in well at home. You may like to light a candle or put a picture up or put a flower in a vase to remember this year. We won't read out names at that point in the service, but we will be stopping to remember especially those whom we love and recall at this time. Thank you to all those who are taking part. I'd like to thank members of the chaplaincy team who are with us today. To thank Melanie Baldwin, midwife, um, Yasmin Shan and Debbie Hutchison for their support. And with us today is Catherine Downham Pellinger, Helen Erkendenby, Carl Kapani can't be with us, but he's with us live online. Sophie Sutherland, Vincent George, Alison Davis, Alfred Banya. Thank you to them for taking part. And um, I should have said as well, Pamela Master. Thank you. those few fleeting moments I had you to myself and that seemed so short a time yet I was so profoundly changed in those few fleeting moments I came to know you and to love you you came to trust me with your life oh what a life I had planned for you when I lost you I lost a lifetime of hopes, plans, dreams and aspirations. A slice of my future simply vanished overnight. It wasn't enough time to convince others how special and important you were. Just a mere few fleeting moments. And no normal person would cry all night over a tiny unnamed baby or get depressed and withdrawn day after day, endless day. No one would. So why am I? You darted in and out of my life too quickly. But it seems that's all the time you needed to make my life so much richer and give me a glimpse of eternity. Thank you. 
it must be difficult to be a man in grief. Since men don't cry and men are strong, no tears can bring relief. It must be very difficult to stand up to the test and to feel calls and visitors so she can get some rest. They always ask if she's doing all right and what she's going through, but seldom take his hand and ask, my friend, but how are you? He hears her crying in the night and thinks his heart will break. He dries her tears and comforts her, but stays strong for her sake. It must be very difficult to start each day anew and to try to be brave. He lost his baby too. They say there is a reason. They say there is a reason. They say that time will heal. But neither time nor reason will change the way I feel. For no one knows the heartache that lies behind our smiles. No one knows how many times we have broken down and cried. We want to tell you something so there won't be any doubt. You're so wonderful to think of, but so hard to be without. These candles, little ones, to symbolically represent all those remembered. We remember with thanksgiving all our children whom we no longer see, who, but who hold their unique place within our family and home. We pray for them today and for one another. To you, gentle Father, we entrust these children, so precious in your sight. Be with us each one as we remember those who have died recently and in past years. We entrust them to your love, to be held in your presence, where there is no sorrow, no weeping, no pain, but the fullness of peace and joy with you forever and ever. God of all time, as we think of these babies, we face the mystery of life and death of birth and rebirth into your closer presence. We pray for parents, 
their family and their friends as they mourn their loss. Strengthen the bonds of our families and help us to go on from here in the memory of our children and in the closeness of your love. We give thanks to all those who have cared for us, who have listened to our lips and have dried our tears. We especially give thanks for the work of the many organizations and professional bodies which care for the bereaved. We ask that as they have helped us, so may they continue to be blessed in all that they do. We offer our thanks for the doctors and nurses, midwives and counselors who have stood by us in our pain and who have helped us to make sense of those things which can never really be explained. We pray for the work of those dedicated to research into the cause of our loss. As we bring our own needs today, may we draw strength from one another, strangers perhaps, but also friends because together we share the path of sorrow. We draw strength too from our children because in so short a time they have given us much. We have lost so much, but there is much that is so precious that no one can ever take away from us. May we have strength for each new day, to weep when we should weep, to accept the comfort that memories bring and to face the future with courage. May we know God's peace so that we can bring peace to others. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
And I invite you to stand if you could for affirmation of our remembrance. When we are weary and in need of strength, when we are lost and sick at heart, when we have a joy we crave to share, when we have decisions that are difficult to make, at the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, at the opening of the birds and in the rebirth of spring. As the blueness of the skies and in the warmth of summer. At the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of the autumn. At the rising of the sun and at its setting. As long as we live, they too will live. But they are now a part of us. Sometimes, sometimes when the sun goes down, it seems it will never rise again but it will. Sometimes, when you feel alone, it seems your heart will literally break in two, but it won't. And sometimes, it seems it's hardly worthwhile carrying on, but it is. For sometimes, when the sun goes down, it seems it will never rise again, but it does.
May these candles burning bright be always our light of hope. May these lights burn bright in us to guide us on our way. May we find peace and strength for all that lies ahead. The journey is not complete, and loving still goes on. So let us not forget their lights burn bright today. It is good that we've been able to gather in this way. We're going to conclude our service together with a prayer of blessing, and then there'll be some music played afterwards. Bless, O oh God, the road that is before us. Bless, O oh God, the friends and family that surround us. Bless, O oh God, your love that is within us. Bless, O oh God, the light that leads us home. May the God of peace himself grant you peace at all times and in all ways. Amen. Amen. Just adjusting to get the music to play, we hope. <laughs> Sounds if it's coming.
thank you for being with us and hope that reflective music was helpful to you and look forward to supporting you as we go forward. Thank you.